Ja, det er mig, vi går i gang sådan cirka 4 på det. Nå, Kim, nu skal du lige forklare mig lidt omkring det her, hvor vi får dem kørt ind fra. Ja, kom så. Han flyver i 40.000 fod, og vi har op til 25.000 i hele året. Jeg er nødt til at være T3. Jeg ja. er vi enige om det. Neptune Strikes illustrates uh, the incredible mobility, flexibility and reach of naval power and air power. And it is manifest in uh, the ability to project force from the naval arena into another uh, naval arena. So the, the drone threat comes in uh, different shapes. Uh, one being uh, the civilian drone, the, the kid that's playing with a drone, that can pose a threat to civil air traffic or to military uh, air, air traffic. Uh, so we need, we need to do something, or we need to be aware of that. But it also, there are also more uh, dangerous ways, even, even more dangerous ways of, of a drone threat. One being the ability for somebody to, to conduct espionage or ISR, if you will. Uh, with drones and all the way through uh, dropping w weapons on you. To, co to combat a, a bigger drone you need kinetic force typically uh, and that will be either uh, from ground or from the air typically or from, from a surface vessel. Uh, in this case it's an F-18, it's, it's a capable aircraft that is able to carry a lot of weapons, uh, offensive and defensive weapons and it's, it's capable of operating from an aircraft carrier. So it has strategic reach by the carrier itself and it has uh, strategic and operational reach by uh, the ability to uh, air-to-air -air refuel and it has uh, tactical uh, capabilities with the weapons it carries. Recent events in Ukraine has more than ever proved that the threat from the air is not just fighters or strategic bombers, it is down to commercial drones of small sizes that potentially can inflict damage to much larger units than we have seen before. Therefore, the preparation of naval power and air power must take into consideration that the span of threats is evolving and increasing vis-a-vis -vis just five or ten years ago. In order to be able to counter threats from both drones and from larger uh, aircraft, we need a strong ISR within NATO 
we need a strong early warning system, and we need capable effectors that can effectively diminish the threat, give us knowledge of the threat, and if need be, fight the threat. From small drones to offensive fighter bombers. The ability to project power from the Mediterranean to the Baltic Sea uh, is essential in order to emphasize credible deterrence, defense and assurance. As head of the Danish Navy, it is very comforting to know that our allies in cooperation with us have the ability to project power across theaters and across domains. It is essential to alliance cohesion, interoperability and our ability to produce defense and deterrence.